No. Zero interest. Uh, um, Kaiji. Kaiji, episode 17, Conversation. I'm trying to think of a reference, but I got nothing. Like no, nope. no, nope, nothing. Song, maybe that's that's conversations. Anyway, hmm. so back to the game of Kaiji playing uh, E card. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. That was really loud and annoying. You should cut that out later. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> so Kaiji is. <clears throat> you know he, he's on a winning streak <laughs> and sure. he's still going with the 10 and he's thinking about it he puts down his card and Tonegawa was like you, you're skipping a little bit uh, yeah I the, don't remember the beginning too uh, much so this Kaji, is a very Kaji, dense episode Kaiji bets 10 and Tonegawa yeah. says uh, I can read you now basically oh yeah I can read the waves of your heart. Yeah. Uh, and Kaiji's just like, yeah, he's totally bluffing. There's no way. There's no way. He puts his card down. Uh, we also get into the later <clears throat> game kind of problem of if you still have your Emperor card on your fourth round, you have a 50-50 chance of winning or losing. Yep. And if they haven't played their slave and you haven't played your Emperor on the fifth round, you have lost. Yeah, so it's, it's a case of betting on them, either just having restraint or just going all in. It's actually which, like the slave might actually have more power in ending a round than anything, and than the emperor, because the temptation for the emperor will be just let them self destruct. So one of the, one psychological strategy would be to go with the emperor up until the fourth round, and then Citizen. they'll obviously think that go with go with sorry go with citizens up until the fourth round. Then they'll think obviously he's not going to go to the fifth round because he'll lose. So I've already won this. So they'll play the slave on the fourth. Then you play the emperor on the fifth and you win. That's one strategy you could try to take. Yeah, that would be the self destruction one. But it all depends on how far you're willing to go and how well you can read your opponent. So Kaiji, thinking this, puts down Emperor for the third one. Mm. And he's like, come on, citizen. <clears throat> he's going to play citizen. And Tonegawa is basically, uh, if, if, if you mentally shouted that loud, everyone's going to hear it. Come on, citizen, is what you were thinking, right? So you picked Emperor. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, obviously Kaiji freaks out a little bit, and Tony goes like, gotcha, puts mm -hmm. down Slave, wins the round, and then we get to see the horrific 10 millimeters of drilling, because that sound, like I, I said last episode, that would frighten me, yeah, it's uh, debilitating. Yeah, it's not just scary, it is a drill bit... Literally, it still sounds like a drill, so it's still a high-pitched whine, but it is directly inside your ear canal. <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Even if you get out of this with your ear, you're still going to probably need to hear it eight. Quite possibly, yeah. Uh, so we end up with... <clears throat> gonna have he's screaming... Voice. He's screaming, and then you're hearing the people, the people who are laying outside so they get kicked... Uh, they hear Kaiji screaming as well. Mm. And we have old chairman is like, giddy, 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 drill, drill, drill. Yeah. I, I'm not going to lie, I lost my shit while we were watching this episode because he, <laughs> I hate him, but I love him because he's so fucking dumb. He's, he's so dumb and weird. He's like a uh, 170 year old man child. It's really weird. Yeah. And then Kaiji goes over to basically play on the slave side. Mm. 
uh, you know, obviously, like, you know, you can't read my mind. That's wrong. It's wrong. I, I need to go wash my face. Goes and he goes to the bathroom, walks past all the guys outside, checks the cards to see if they're marked, and it's like, I gotta find a way out of this. I gotta find a way out of this. Yeah, he goes back and he says, oh, so you didn't find any marks on the cards? Yeah, we wouldn't do that because, well, not because it's cheating, because we don't care if it's cheating, but because you might notice and take advantage of that. Yeah, like we're we're not betting anything in this. We're just having fun. <clears throat> yeah, this is just fun <clears throat> for us. Uh, yeah. The only worry is you might mark the cards. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. So they get into the fourth. Uh, yeah, the fourth round. Um, and they say, "How much are you gonna bet?" Uh, if you bet ten again, then you're really not as worth our time as we thought you were. You're just a fucking yeah, daredevil. Well, he, he he says, "I'm gonna bet too," and he's like, "Ah, so we were right. We were right. Yeah, we were like, if you are, if you were, if you would have bet ten, you're not worth our time. You're just kind of worthless. You're just gambling on everything. Just a daredevil, no actual sense of restraint." But All if right. you if you were a, a true warrior, you would have bet one. With the flow that, of the game going against you and the opponent seeming to have an overwhelming advantage that you don't understand, you should have bet less. Yeah. That, that, extra, that one extra one is... was your vanity that is going to destroy you in the end. I am taking over this, but I remember the exact script. I apologize. Yeah. <clears throat> See, here's the thing. They've already done three matches. He has 20 millimeters left. He could. He can't afford to bet two. He can. Uh, even if you, even if you were to bet two for the remainder of it, he'd still walk out of it with his. Uh, hmm, well, actually, let me think. He has nine matches left. Twenty millimeters, yeah. nine matches. Yeah, he'd be down to. Yeah, two he, left. he. Yeah, he'd be down to two. So my math was right. He still will have. The shape yeah, of the year would be intact. He would have lost his hearing regardless. I, I, if if we were playing this realistically, that's what would happen. Yeah, um, and he'd just get a hearing aid, but he wouldn't, you know, be deformed. Uh, so I don't understand, like, well, if it's just worrying about losing the, money or the thing. Someone's messaging me. Uh, the thing is, if he bets two now, when he is incredibly unlikely to win then that means he can't bet an extra one later when maybe the game has turned yeah. back in his favor. They don't really expect that to happen, but yeah. on the off chance but, that it would, he is sacrificing some of that chance for extra money or bet or whatever. Because if he does win <clears throat> while playing as a slave, he gets five times that, which means he gets a million. So yeah. there is that... He, he's still, in a sense, betting the same as, but on a, on a lesser scale. Mm. So, Kaichi loses uh, this next one because he's he's yeah. thoroughly they, shaken. They do a little bit of a psychological thing, like, um, was it this one or was it the next one? I can't remember. I can't remember. That's, that's like, just it, order of events that messed yeah. me up. In one of the games, they actually do a little bit of detail on the psychology of it. Like, if you're dealing your card first, then you are less likely to play the game-ending card. Mm -hmm. Because then, if you deal first, then your opponent has all the time in the world to read you before playing their card. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, if you're putting it on the line, then you're... Probably gonna have a tell, so you're less likely to do that. Yeah, and so naturally, if you're the emperor, you'd want to play uh, when you deal second, which would be like the second or the uh, fourth round. Yeah, and the game we're talking about, anyway, is the second round. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Gaiji plays slave on the second round, and yeah. No. Yeah, that that wouldn't work because Tonegawa is more familiar with this than with this game than you are. He would obviously yeah. know that strategy. Yep. And that train of thought. Yep. 
because Kaiji's at a big disadvantage because this is not the first time Tonegawa has played this game. This is the first time Kaiji has played this game. Yep. So all the strategies he's coming up with are much more basic. Mm-hmm. And then we move on to... We get the buzzing again. Ah, yeah, it hurts, it hurts. Um, mm-hmm. And we get... And the fucking chairman's still going, giru, 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 in the background, and it's still yes. cracking me up every time. Uh, <laughs> the the guys with broken arms and legs outside <clears throat> managed to storm into the room, crawling... And it's like, we you got reinforcements, Kaiji. I don't know if it's a case of managed to, but they were allowed in. Like, if they didn't yeah. want them in there, they wouldn't be fucking in there. So yeah. so now Kaiji has an audience that will support him, which might help. Hmm. And there's, there's lots of reading people in this episode. <clears throat> uh, specifically, he goes into breaking down all the different things that they're trying to do or that you could be experiencing during this. Yeah, and he stops on fear, and he's like, "Fear, wait, okay, I think I got something here," and that's kind of where the episode leaves off. Mm. Uh, but going into that, it's obvious that they're, they are yeah. employing; they're trying to make him scared. Yeah, absolutely. That's what the for you they got the the drill thing. Yeah, they very specifically have a shot of this while he's talking about fear, and it's like, yeah, yeah. he's realizing they are playing him hard with the fear angle. And Tonegawa's whole everything he <clears throat> says is just trying to make Kaiji more scared and more frightened. Yeah. So then the the best way to avoid that would be to try to not play into that fear and play into something else. Mm. Uh. Or maybe pretend like you're still working under the effects of that fear when really you're, you're not thinking that, that that same sort of train of thought. Yeah. Easier said than done. but Yeah. It, it, a lot of this is easier said than done. Mm-hmm. Um, Kaiji, while he is pretty smart, he's not the smartest guy in the room. He's not the smartest so, guy in most rooms. But Yeah, in most rooms. He's, he's pretty clever, but... Mm. He's not the type that can easily hide what he... He doesn't have a good poker face at all. He has a terrible poker face. And... Mm. Yeah. The best Kaiji has in terms of poker face is when he already knows he's won. In which case, he's just constantly grinning. And there's nothing to read because he's already won. Meanwhile, Tonegawa is constantly grinning at all times. And that's his sort of poker Because he's already won. Because he's already won, but at the same time, I feel that he's the type that would try to cling to that expression even if he was losing. Mm. Because that's the sort of tactic he's using. Uh, when I play, I, I've played poker on a few occasions with friends and family. And when I play poker, my strategy is to always smile. That's my poker face. I don't have a poker face, it's why I play blackjack instead. <laughs> <clears throat> so I always smile and I will bluff and win with a pair of twos and that's how I, I play poker or cards or anything is I, I am really good at bluffing <laughs> and I can I can I, I've managed to get some people mad because I was able to bluff my way to victory mm. Kaiji's not like that uh his, he's trying to figure out his opponent's bluffs more than trying to bluff himself. Yeah. And Funnily enough, a lot of what Kaiji does is basically what the chairman AL do is just plan the victory. So, you know, Sun Tzu and shit, just plan ahead and ensure victory rather than just going in there and gambling. Yeah, like he sets up the circumstance so that he can't lose, so it's a physical impossibility, and that's how he wins. He doesn't, when he wins, at least mm-hmm. he doesn't gamble. Yeah, but so the of aspect fact, of <laughs> Kaiji is a yeah. fucking terrible gambler. Yeah, he's a terrible gambler, and there's no real 
way to fix his odds unless he's able to psychologically dominate his opponent in this. Mm. And so we're going to have to see whether or not he can actually do that. There are, I think, eight episodes left of the show. Possibly yeah. Nine. I can't remember whether this is 25 or one of those odd 26 episode shows. Oh, uh, we <laughs> are... Uh, it, yeah, there's 26 episodes. It's a weird mm. one. So it's nine. All right. Yeah. Nine so, episodes to go. Yeah. So that's pretty much the episode. It pretty much ends on the ooh fear mm, thing. Mm, yeah. <clears throat> so I like I like this episode. Very dense. There were some aspects we probably missed, but uh, you uh, yeah he they play another round and Kaiji loses again. Yeah, because he psychs himself out basically. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um. So yeah, uh, I don't think there's anything else to talk about for this one. You was you were expecting this one to be dull because of conversation being the title. That was it. Conversation. Uh, yeah. Tonegawa goes on a rant about um, how have you ever experienced this before? Isn't this thrilling? A real conversation between people. Um, yeah, <clears throat> a real conversation between souls where you're trying to read each other and find out each other's true intents and motives. And that's the that's the sort of thing that you won't get uh, in your normal everyday life. Mm. And and because when of the we thing were, on your ear, you're forced to take it seriously. Yeah, and we were watching this. I was like, "Oh, conversation! <clears throat> what a great title!" Mm. Because, well, a conversation is great for a psychological show. I just thought it was funny to have that as a title of the episode. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I think we'll end this off with me reading one of the comments on the. On, on this go go anime thing. Oh god. Uh, okay. <laughs> he's so triangular. He is very triangular, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think and there what... was a shot in this one where it sort of zooms out but it doesn't set the aspect <laughs> ratio properly. So he just looks like stretched out so his face is like that. <laughs> yeah. Like weird. We'll see you guys next next time. Yeah. Yeah. Bye right, everybody. See you all. Bye. Later. Friday, I guess. Also, sorry about missing a week last week. Happens. Yeah.